Hi everyone, my name is Parag Pal and welcome back in lecture number one of Civil 30. Guys, in this particular lecture, we are going to discuss about how we can create a KML file for a particular area which we require for a highway designing. As I told you earlier, in this overall course, we are going to design a highway which consists the horizontal curves. Also, we will draw the vertical curves for that and also we'll be looking for the proper corridor modeling. Okay, and also we will be looking forward for the designing of highway in proper manner with quantity take up and cross sections. So thanks for purchasing this particular course and you will be getting a very good outcome from this course. So first of all, what you have to do, you need to open a Google Earth. Okay, then you need to just click on roads and just go to the view and click on a grid pattern because we want this grid for our proper modeling. Okay, now after that, I'm taking certain area from the India then go to the tool and click on the uh, option. When you click on the option, you should make the show latitude longitude. It means we want the elevation, north elevation format. Just click on a universal transform mechator and just click units in the meter and kilometers. Okay. If you want to do all in feet and miles, you can click over here. Okay. And click on apply and okay. Now, whatever you are, you will be calculating. It is in the north thing, sting and elevation format. So first of all, you need to put the area location in which you need to draw the highway. So I'm putting the area as a Kalmeshwar, okay, over here. It is in the India Napur region, okay, in Maharashtra Strait. So you can see this particular red dot represent this particular area, okay. Now what I have to do is I have to take this particular area for my, you know, uh, highway designing. So you can see here I have H. 265 this particular sh i will be designing for my uh, what we can say for my uh, highway otherwise you can also take one new alignment over here so i am because i'll be going to consider one new alignment over here let's consider the new alignment new highway design corridor so what we can do we can draw one alignment connecting with this particular road so what you have to do just come over here okay and then just click on this polygon when you click on this particular polygon, you need to type a name as a area one. Okay. And go to the slide. Just provide a line color as a three. Okay. And just opacity make as a zero. So you can see only borders. Now just make sure just drop, just drag this particular pop up over here and select the area from this point. One portion click here. Another portion you need to click here. Okay. Okay. And you can click over here so this much area we want for our portion okay let's consider this particular area we are considering you can just take like this only okay right and you to just yeah just make sure okay like this area we want now after that what you have to do okay when you just consider this area let me just take area once again make sure you are properly 90 degree fit to this window then come to the polygon Okay, now type a name a area one. Okay, just take over here and I'll be putting okay the polygon like this. Okay, now you need to save this uh, pop up. You need to save. Okay, and you can see one area is generated. Now you need to right click and save place as the KML file. So I'll be putting as a area one as a uh, KML file. Okay. I'll be preparing new folder over here. Okay. And in that I'll put this KML one area, right? So in this next lecture, okay, we'll be looking for how we can convert this KML area into 3D terrain area. Okay. Using the global mapper, you can use the different tools also, but I'm using the global mapper and you can download, you can purchase the global mapper from the online. Okay. So thank you for watching this video. We'll be looking all these things in lecture number two. Thank you.